government this week appointed a committee to plan the relaunch of Somali Airlines. The carrier was formed March 5, 1964, but it shut down in 1991 amid the civil war. The committee of seven people is headed by Ali Rachal Gabao and includes two senior pilots. The group has 30 days from November 1st to come up with a comprehensive scheme to bring the airline back to life. In 2012, the government tried to jumpstart the carrier's comeback, but efforts ultimately failed. The country is currently served by over 10 airlines. African Express and Juba Airways are both Somali-owned, but based in Nairobi. This would be an impressive feat by the new government if they can make it work. Having a national airline would not just be a source of pride, but would show the international community that Somalia's development is on a fast track. The committee needs to be shrewd in making their plan so that the airline can be profitable. With air travel down due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the cost of planes is also down. Buying narrow-body aircraft, like a Boeing 737-800, is three to four times cheaper than a wide-body plane. Analysis by research firm McKinsey & Company shows that airlines based in slow-growing home markets outperform their peers in high-growth markets, so domestic routes will be more profitable. They may also look for unique destinations that other carriers don't fly to. Cairo, Dar es Salaam, Jijiga, Khartoum, and Mombasa are not currently served from Somalia. Most of all, they need to think modern. The best airlines use various tools such as loyalty programs, online sales, and mobile apps. These build brands and relationships with customers. It is not enough just to get the planes off the ground. The committee should lay the groundwork for the new White Star Airline to be a success financially and with its consumer base. After all, most of the passengers on these flights will be Somalis. ADN TV will continue to report on air travel developments across Africa. 